Hi everyone, uh, my name is Soheb Khalid and you are watching my channel Design Curious. Uh, well, in today's lecture, I will tell you uh, how I select the colors uh, for my different designs. So for this purpose, first you need to understand the color theory, but I will not uh, take you into the deep of this topic because this, this there are so many uh, articles uh, already published uh, on different websites and uh, you can watch uh, different tutorials uh, regarding the color psychology, color theory on the YouTube. Uh, but I will uh, shortly or briefly tell you uh, about the four or five different types of uh, colors and then I will take you to the design where uh, I will tell you the practical implementation of uh, all those types. So moving on, uh, first uh, you will uh, write the Canva color wheel. This will take you to the site uh, in Canva where you can see the color wheel uh, available on the Canva site. This is the very uh, excellent and perfect tool uh, that Canva have uh, made public for the for everyone uh, so that you can select any appropriate colors for your designs. So, well, uh, the first color type is the complement color. Uh, these are the color uh, that we mainly use for uh, text or where we need to uh, create the design with the highest contrast. For example, uh, your background color is uh, red like you can see in this color wheel. So if you want to keep the highest contrast, you can select uh, the, this sea green or you can say the light blue one. Uh, so uh, you can write your text in the light color in the in this sea green color and your background would be in the uh, reddish tone. So this will create the highest contrast uh, in your design. So these colors uh, types are called the complementary colors. If you want to keep the same uh, uh, color scheme to keep the harmony in colors uh, in your design. So uh, in that case, you can use the monochromatic color. So these are the same uh, shades, tones and tints uh, of the one dominant color. For example, if you select this one, the brownish color uh, and the next second or third color that you use in your design uh, and uh, you want to keep the same family and the same harmony in your design you can select the light tone of the same dominant color like your second color would be the light brown and the third color would be the uh, whitish brown so the third type is analogous analogous are the uh, same family of the color but uh, in this case rather we go with the shades or tints uh, we select the side by side color of our dominant color for example if we select uh, the blue color and then the uh, on the right side the two colors uh, would be our analogous color there are many other types uh, you can check on the canvas side but uh, the first three types are the main that i use in my designs mainly so uh, now i will tell you how this uh, color wheel help me to uh, select uh, appropriate color for any particular design. Well, uh, now we will create uh, a social media template or a design uh, for a real state and we will use this color wheel phenomena for our color selection. So for this purpose, first we will select an Instagram post template and uh, then now uh, we will select uh, our frame for the photo. Uh, there are so many frames available uh, in the Canva element section. You can select any one uh, based on your design or your requirement. So you can see uh, there are so many uh, templates. Uh, I'm just looking for a circle uh, with the border. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one. I want to use this circle for my design okay now i will select a shape and uh, that would be probably the rectangle shape the best fit for our design okay uh, now we will 
increase the size of the shape and we'll place it at the left side of our slide and uh, we will make a copy of this shape and we'll place it at the bottom like this Uh, we will increase the size of this uh, circle shape and then move the position forward. Now uh, you can see we have uh, used three different elements. Uh, two are the rectangle shape and the one is the circle with the white border. And what colors should we use for this design? As I have mentioned uh, earlier that we will design uh, a template or a design for a real state so so first we will go to the photo section and then select a real state any photo under this keyword uh, well uh, for example uh, we will select this one and uh, we need to uh, change the color of this white area of the circle uh, uh in canva we have an option where uh, canva shows us the photo colors uh unfortunately i'm not seeing uh this part here but uh no worries uh, we can select any dominant color from our photo uh, by using the color picker this option is available in the canva color palette section this is the color picker uh, you can simply select the color picker and you should go to the a photo and then wherever you will move it uh, this color pickle will uh, show you the color that you can select for your any particular area for example in this design i am seeing so many colors and uh, if i need to select this uh, light brown or pinkish type color i will simply click on this and now you can see this uh, border of the white border uh, has changed automatically with the color of this area which is the roof or uh, the ceiling of the building so now we will uh, change the color of these two shapes and for this purpose uh, first i will select uh, the color which i have used for the circle and i will copy the uh, hash code which is this one dcceb5 i will copy it with the control c option i will go to the color wheel and then i will paste my code at this area uh, now you can see uh, as uh, i pasted the code uh, under the color wheel it is showing me the monochromatic color uh, against this code but uh, I need the uh, complementary color, so I will select the option complementary. And now you can see that uh, uh, this color wheel is showing me uh, the different color. Uh, that is the best suit for uh, this color, which is uh, pinkish, or you can say the light tone of pink. So I will select this one and uh, I will copy the hash code of this bluish color i will come to my design i will select the shape and will go to the color palette control v paste it now you can see this color has uh, changed and uh, uh, it is creating some contrast between the border of the uh, circle and with the sh with this shape and we will keep the same tone or same color for the bottom part as well and we will go to the color palette and so so th these are the options that we can use to select our color uh, i have uh, selected some light colors we can even make it bright uh, like if i select uh, any uh, brownish color i will go to the palette i will move the cursor here and I will select this one okay and I will select the same color for the bottom part now 
uh, you can see that this is also looking good and creating some contrast but if we if we need to check the complementary color of this brown so we will simply select the hash code we'll copy it uh, from here control c and then we will go to the color wheel and we will paste it here control v into the color wheel and we will paste it now you can see uh, the color wheel is showing us uh, the blue color against this brown color as a complementary color and this is creating a very good contrast so if we will select this color uh, like this blue one and can we copy it and if i if we will place here and we will change the border of the circle with this color uh, you can see this is also giving another good option or a good contrast so again this is totally up to you you can select your color for for your designs in this method and the same thing you can do with the text as well like if we uh, write our text uh, from here like we can also select the color for this text as well by using the same method of the color wheel uh, like in this option i can try it with the blue but this is not looking good we can even use the white color uh, this is looking good and giving us a very good contrast if you will use the same tone same color with the background or uh, even the lighter one uh, this th that would not give uh, an appealing look the visually it will not be readable for your audience for your client so this is the good option to select a contrast color for your text area so as white is the universal color so you can select the white one but uh you can even select and to check the other option uh like if we'll go to the color wheel again and we will uh, if we see the monochromatic option uh, it is giving us the this light one analogous uh we can even try these two options as well for our design and uh, uh, there are some other options uh these are the good option that can go well with our design so this is totally up to us we can just do the hit and trial method to select the colors that would be best suitable for our design and this will also help us to understand the harmony among so the this is all about for today's video i will get back to you with an other tutorial very soon thank you so much